So in this video, we want to evaluate sine of 18 degrees without using a calculator. Basically, we want to use some trigonometric identities to evaluate sine of 18 degrees. But before I go on, please consider subscribing for more contents like this and smash the like button if you find this video helpful. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with two interesting numbers, 36 and 54. Now, why do I call these two interesting? Because first, both of them are multiples of 18. The first one is 2 times 18, and the second one is 3 times 18. And secondly, their sum, 54 plus 36, equals 90, which means that 36 degrees and 54 degrees are complementary angles which means that sine of one of them equals cosine of the other one. So I can write that uh, sine of 36 degrees equals cosine of 54 degrees. Or I can say that sine of 54 degrees equals cosine of 36 degrees. So at this point, I'm going to use one of these two equations to evaluate sine of 18 degrees. I'm going to go with the first one. So I have sine of 36 degrees equals cosine of 54 degrees. And now remember that 36 equals 2 times 18 and 54 equals 3 times 18. So I have sine of 2 times 18 equals cosine of 3 times 18. And notice that all of these angles are in degree. I just don't write it because it's not comfortable. And now I'm going to use the double angle identity for sine and the triple angle identity for cosine because then I will have everything in terms of sine of 18 and cosine of 18. And then I will be able to solve for sine of 18 degrees. So let's review the double angle formula for sine and the triple angle formula for cosine. Sine of two theta equals two times sine of theta times cosine of theta. And cosine of three theta equals four times cosine cubed of theta minus three times cosine of theta. So let's go ahead and apply these two formulas. On the left hand side, I will have two times sine of 18 times cosine of 18. And on the right hand side, I will have four times cosine cubed of 18 minus three times cosine of 18. And notice that on the right hand side, I can pull out a cosine of 18. So I will have cosine of 18 times the quantity four times cosine squared of 18 minus three. And now, since uh, cosine of 18 degrees is not zero, I can just go ahead and cancel this with this. Basically, I divide both sides by cosine of 18 because it is not zero. So I will have two times sine of 18 equals four times cosine squared of 18 minus three. And next, I'm going to use the Pythagorean identity to replace cosine squared of 18 with one minus sine squared of 18. And that way I will have everything in terms of sine of 18. So based on the Pythagorean identity, we know that sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals one. Therefore, I can replace cosine squared of theta with one minus sine squared of theta. And I'm going to do the same thing just here. I will have two times sine of 18 equals four times one minus sine squared of 18, and then minus three. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. 2 times sine of 18 equals 4 minus 4 times sine squared of 18, and then minus 3. And then if I uh, simplify this and put everything on the same side, I will have 4 times sine squared of 18 plus 2 times sine of 18 minus 1 
equals zero. And it is obvious that I have a quadratic equation in terms of sine of 18. So I can just easily use this, uh, the quadratic formula to solve for sine of 18. So I have sine of 18 equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus negative 16 all over 2 times 4, which is 8. So this simplifies to negative 2 plus or minus root 20 divided by 8. Now, notice that 18 um, is in the first quadrant, so uh, sine of 18 degrees is a positive quantity. And we found two solutions. We found a positive, positive solution and a negative solution. So the negative solution is not valid. So I can just go ahead and say that sine of 18 degrees equals the positive solution, which is negative 2 plus root 20 divided by 8. And actually, this can be simplified a little bit more. I can rewrite uh, root 20 as 2 times root 5. And then I can reduce this to negative 1 plus root 5 over 4. Basically, I divided both the top and the bottom by 2. So this is it. We found uh, a value for sine of 18 degrees. We evaluated sine of 18 degrees without using a calculator. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this and share this video with your friends. Goodbye for now.